Kanagash raise new concerns. Kiloi hazard assessments include analyses of salts on volcanic ash, sulfur dioxide, so too. Rich emissions have long been a feature of Kiloi volcano summit activity. However, vigorous volcanic ash production during the 2018 eruption raised new concerns about potential impacts for downwind communities. During an eruption, chemical reactions that occur between volcanic ash and the so too rich plume form salt coatings on the surfaces of ash particles. These coatings contain a wide range of components that are soluble, easily dissolved. Upon contact with water, either through ash falling into water catchments or by rain falling on ash, the soluble components are washed from the ash. This can impact human and agricultural activities, both positively, if ash supplies nutrient elements, such as sulfur, to soil, and negatively, if ash can release potentially toxic species, such as fluoride. The composition of the ash coating can be measured in the laboratory through ash leaching experiments. This is performed by mixing samples of freshly erupted volcanic ash with ultra-pure water and measuring the change in the water chemistry. These leachate results from the laboratory can then be scaled with the amount of ash fall to evaluate the potential impact on water resources, agriculture, and human health. If the ash coating poses a hazard, then appropriate protective actions can be communicated. Determining the composition of ash surface coatings through ash leaching is a valuable part of the volcanic hazard assessment carried out by the U.S. Geological Survey. With the help of citizen scientists, the USGS collected and analyzed almost 30 ash samples produced by collapse events at the summit of Kiloi in 2018. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.